This is a very difficult question because when, if you want to give away some of these neighborhoods, there are several questions which have to be dealt with. First of all, you have the strategic problem, which is not legal. Uh, several Jewish communities, which nowadays are behind those Arab uh, neighborhoods, would be on the border. And of course, they would not like it that on the next, uh, next street there would be a Palestinian unit. But from the legal point of view, first of all, we have the question of, of the permanent residency. Nowadays, there are permanent residents of Israel. If, they are take, if the area is taken out of Israel, you must take into consideration the right of these people to go and live in another place in Israel. You cannot force them to say, uh, you will be, from tomorrow you will be a permanent resident of another country. You can tell them, if you stay at where you are now, you will be a permanent resident of a Palestinian state. But they can say, no, we want to go and live in West Jerusalem, or in Haifa, or in Tel Aviv, or wherever. Another problem would be the question of the social rights. Nowadays, the Palestinians of East Jerusalem are permanent residents. They have the right, as we said, to social security, to medical service, and they have the right to work everywhere in Israel. You cannot simply take away all these rights from those people, and there should be a phased out system where under they continue to get some of these rights, depending on the question how many years they have paid social security, how many years they have paid for the medical service, so that it should not be just from today to tomorrow they lose everything.